Whoa, it's Minifigure Illusion reporting from somewhere on Brick Ship Earth. All right, we're going to do a little review of the uh, hidden side. What is this thing called? The, uh, the Dark Hidden Castle Lighthouse? I forget what it's called. Oops. The Dark, the Dark, Dark Lighthouse. Dark Lighthouse. So for those of you who watched this channel, I accidentally deleted part two of the live build of this. I was super bummed because it was myself and Owl building it and uh, we had a rather good time doing it and we had a pretty good crowd watching. So my apologies on that level. So uh, here we are, we got, we got an official, this is set number 70431, the new hidden side lighthouse. It comes with a, a full-on thick actual instruction manual. And um, boom, lots of pages. Four, four bags. Four bags full of goodies in there. So um, we'll start with the, uh, the review of the actual lighthouse itself. I actually really like this set. It was, just, it was a pretty good build. Um couple of the features it's it's got this retractable claw here that uh moves with this this lever back here which is pretty neat i think it adds pretty good playability there and uh owl seems to like it it's spooky right and then we've got you know a little light on the the dock, so this is supposed to be a dock coming down out of the lighthouse on its little rocky outcove. And uh, we, you know, it's the hidden side's got all the little flaps that flip up and reveal the colored panels. But since we don't do video games and stuff, we don't really get the hidden side for the, uh, the gaming aspect. We get it for the spooky aspect, for the fun aspect. And so one of my favorite things about this set is this. Right here, the little hatch in the bottom of the uh, the pier reveals that purple crab that's hanging out in there. I really, I really get a kick out of that. I don't know why I like it so much. I just really do. So as you can see, it's a it's a it's a good looking set with lots of like angles. It's a 90 degree. Delio there, and I also what I also like about it is these. Uh, there's like a cave that goes underneath the rocks here, and inside the cave, there's a uh, there's a bat hanging from the rafters up there. You see that, and then there's also a candle burning, dripping wax, and a little cave, a little, a little alcove, a little hiding spot back there, because you know it's spooky. And there, this is one of the. Uh, play features for the game like i said i don't i don't really know and then uh we have the uh the turning lighthouse which it's almost easier to see on the back side for that is it's got the the clear lens with the silver reflector and then um the eyeball lens there and it, it rotates and spins so that's fun oops these aren't supposed to be on here the heads the extra heads and then uh, what I what I think is kind of cool is there's the little like broadcaster station in here with the microphone and a mixer panel. And down here is the little hangout room with, I think that's supposed to be like a chess table in there. And, um, you know, then it gets spooky. The, these open up and ah spooky it's this it's spooky so there's uh there's teeth glow in the dark teeth and it's supposed to be the spooky vibe for you that for you those you want the spooky lighthouse but it closes up and uh just becomes like a normal lighthouse i think that's kind of a cool feature there's a front door here you that opens you can walk in there and go into the little captain's lounge my one thing is it's a little hard to, you can't really stick a minifigure up on the top there. You can kind of stick one over to the side. We'll get to the minifigures in a, 
next. And then it comes with this uh, handy dandy personal watercraft in here, which uh, I don't know, I got just Jack's phone there, but uh, it comes with this. I like it. Some people don't like the color scheme. I get a kick out of it. I think it's fun. It's got the little little ghost laser beam on the side and it all articulates out. It's a little, little personal watercraft action. And um, I'll put all the, the characters in, in scary mode here. And let's see. So let's, uh, let's get all. So that comes with the sailor guy, the little sailor guy. He's in scary mode because it comes with all these extra, extra scary stuff blah so it's he's got scary hands but i thought he had a pretty cool i like his hat i like his fisherman hat but i thought he had a pretty cool torso print ah his head won't come off so he's got a pretty nice torso print as a uh you know he's the lighthouse keeper right and he also has a normal head he's supposed to get a beard here it comes with uh, with an extra beard for you, so you can get him in full, just crusty lighthouse keeper vibe. And he comes with his little lighthouse keeper weapon right there. Boom! Let's see, we got him. You get him. You seen him? Right there. So maybe I should turn on the lights. Hmm. Does that help? Does that help? I think that helped. Oops. Well, so there he is. He's got his uh, his his dealio there, and boom. And then you get your standard Jack. He's got all this like electric electroplasm stuff on him, and uh, you get Parker here. And I always like her. I think her torso prints are are pretty good. Her, the prints on hers is are pretty good. I think. Uh, I think. It's just winning. I like the patches. I like what they did with with her steel. But you get you get one of her and pretty much everything, and you get a jack. So the uh the and then you get the diver and the diver is pretty much winning. I I really think the uh the print on the torso and the legs is solid and uh, I like the brown diver vibe, spooky head in there. But it's actually supposed to be a. Uh, a female and she's got one face is pretty crunchy dude she's got she's got crunch face going on so she's not very happy in that one and then um she's she's medium happy in that one so i don't know what to make of that she's an unhappy lighthouse keeper girl so i don't know what to make of that and then uh, you also get this pretty standard skeleton with some sort of mar horn. I guess that's supposed to be a foghorn or something. But you'll see it's like there's not really anywhere to stick him up on the... You can't really stick him up there very well. And, um, you know, I think that's kind of a drag. But, you know, you can get him up there. And uh, the diver here doesn't come with any flippers, but I guess the diver's ready to go in. Ah, gonna get in there. And uh, this jet ski is pretty, pretty snazzy, but you know, it, dock, it can dock right there. Boom. And I think this lighthouse actually makes a pretty good set. It comes in at, at, at 50 bucks. It's 500. And 40 some odd pieces, I think. The stickers are pretty minimal stickers, but there's some sticker action there to show wear and tear. Uh, it was a fun build. It took myself an owl, roughly, uh, it was a two hour build. You know, we take our time, we have fun. We like to like to goof around while we while we Lego. And um, I'm I'm recommending it. I think I think it's a pretty nice set, and it's going to integrate well into our uh, our Lego thing and the uh, 
It's, it's going to be the lighthouse for the Ninjago City water port or something like that. I, I think it's pretty good. You could definitely leave this little contraption off, but I don't really like to alter the sets. I think they just kind of are what they are. I, you know, one thing maybe is to just build this out a little bit, but I don't, I don't see that happening either. It's going to leave it. I think it looks pretty nice as is. I think all the, I think all the minifigures that come with it are, are pretty, uh, are decent. Definitely these two are, are winners. The, uh, the lighthouse keeper and the lighthouse diver are, uh, are winner and, you know, Jack and, and Parker are pretty standard, but you know, it's always good to have spares with that. And each of the uh, spooky heads comes with a backup head. And then you get all of this stuff, this stuff right there. Whoops, let me back that up so you can see that. So you get the, uh, the glow in the dark beard. Everybody gets their phone. The diver gets a spear gun. There's an extra beard. There's some extra pieces over here. People get all fired up on the extra pieces. Let's see, are these the extra pieces? Wait, here they are. Let's bring the extra pieces in for a, for a quick look. There was, there was one cool extra piece, which I thought was pretty snazzy, which is nice, is this uh, chrome dish. There's a chrome dish that you get extra with that. So that, that was nice of them to throw in the extra chrome dish and a extra microphone and a, some gold pieces and an extra flame. So yeah, overall, I I think with the, the spooky features and just how it, it generally like disguises itself, I, I think it's a fun set. I think it, it serves multiple purposes and I think it integrates into a, uh, a Lego city pretty well. And you, the dock, I like the dock and the stairs and the rock work, because you get these pretty standard rock work pieces, but I think I like how they did it with laying this one on its side. That's a good idea. I think that can be definitely a way to use these things. So I think that comes out pretty nice. The rock works pretty good. And like I said, I like the I like the little cave in the back. I think that is an a little bonus detail. So I'm giving this this set a, some I'm recommending it. I like the hidden side set. I'm I'm uh I'm partial to that. So um go get your hidden side on. Enjoy it. Have a good time with it. You know? It's it's uh it's Lego. What can you go what can what can go wrong? Really? I mean nothing, dude. It's just it's just Lego. It's the best. Super fun. It's just fun. There's nothing unfun about it. And look at that. Look at that fun color. The propulsion. It makes sounds that I make for it. And um, so, the, yeah, that's what we're doing. That's uh, the Lego hidden side. The dark lighthouse. I forget the name because I don't have a box sitting in front of me. But it's, it's set number 70431. Lego. Bringing it home. I brought it home. You should bring it home. Why not? Anyway, there's links down below. Uh, get the word out. And um, join us for live builds. I apologize to anyone who wanted to watch part two of the live build. I don't know how I deleted it, but I did. And um, bummers. So that's the illusion. And I'm... Wait, wait, wait. That's... That's Minifigure Illusion signing off from Brick Ship Earth saying, hey, keep on building. All right.